Hi, our nation. Welcome to the pregame on Rogers TV Ottawa, presented by Robillard Hearing Centers, the Clock Tower Brew Pub, and Lumberjacks Axe Throwing. I am your host, Ken Avrer. Well, the Ottawa Red Blacks are back on the field preparing for the second half of their home and home set with the BC Lions, the very same Lions that decimated the Red Blacks last week. Uh, the Red Blacks are now mired in a five game losing streak. They're sporting a record of three and nine, and any hopes of making the postseason have pretty well been dashed. But there's still plenty to play for when it comes to this football team beat. And the moment where you get to compete on Saturday night against the Lions, in today's show, we're going to get the good word from many of the players. And of course, we have our Getting to Know You segment as well. We always kick things off the first word, and that comes from head coach Rick Campbell. Is there a pressure to start winning football games? There's a pressure for us to start performing better. So. Say that is that when you're on a team of 80 people or whatever this is between the coaches and all the buddy everybody around here is you actually don't control winning, you don't control the result, but you control playing well. And when we play well, we'll have a good chance of winning. And that so that's what I'm um, focusing and pouring our energy on is that we're practicing the way we need to practice and performing like we need to do in practice. So therefore, when you do that, you're more likely to perform well in the game. And that's. Uh, that's, uh, that's what we'll do. Do you take on an everything to gain and nothing to lose mentality, which maybe makes the team a little looser? No, I don't. I'm, uh, um, we're, our mentality, like I said, I'm just trying to get our football team to improve and have all our performances improve so that we can, um, obviously the goal is to win. That's the focus. That's why we're here. But like I said, we need to focus on performing better and then, then you start getting the results you're looking for. Our guys are working hard, um, but it's a matter of, uh, you know, putting the best group together and um, combine that with making plays and, the, um, you know, Devontae's obviously showed that he can do that. So we'll see how it goes, um, but if, uh, if he's available and, and ready to go, then that's he's someone we consider for sure. What's the approach to the second half of a home at home under this circumstance where you've lost the game, but you have film on your opponent? Um, it's a, it's really a new game. I say that even even whether you win the first half of the back to back or you don't, it's really a new game. Um, and so you uh, obviously you have film and you know stuff that's going on with them. But it's a it's a new week and a new game. And uh, um, when the ball's kicked off, that both teams won't even remember about last week, or at least I know we won't. Just speaking from our point of view. How do you get the guys focused? Uh, it's been a tough last five games, five consecutive losses, but uh, still plenty to play for in terms of being a pro, going out and competing, because as you slow down, you try to play it safe out there. That's when things really go awry. Yeah, we'll, we'll be ready to go, our guys. Uh, we're just gonna get focused in on uh, each person getting ready to play the best they can, and um, that's what we're shooting for every week, and uh, we'll continue to, to work and uh, um, try to put on a better performance so we have a better chance of winning. What do you need to see from Jonathan Jennings? This, this uh, well, we need to see improvement, and I include all of us, including me, all of us, we want to improve and, and be better. And um, if he's incrementally better, and the guys that are around him are incrementally better, then uh, we'll, all look, uh, we'll all look much better. So we're, uh, we're working on that, and uh, we'll see how he goes. It looked today like Holly and Nembot were getting some starting team reps as well what direction uh, offensive line in particular what do you we we got to figure that one out um, part of that part of when you see some mixing of our o-line is uh, maintaining some guys that are actually available but uh, we're just trying to be smart with the amount of reps they're taking at this point in the season so um, you know with a guy like uh, um, like Nembot who we like um, we just have to factor in the, the deal of the ratio because obviously him counting as an American makes it different. So we'll see how it goes, but we, we feel comfortable going either way, all Canadian or, or with him. And obviously we'll have to decide that and uh, we'll see how we practice tomorrow and go from there. Is Holly a possibility for this week as well? Yeah, he's had a good week of practice. So again, we got to figure out, that's conversations we're having about our uh, the ratio, about fitting the, the Americans and the Canadians on and how that all looks. And uh, um, But uh, Caleb looks uh, fresh and has made some really good catches in practice this week. An update on Brad? Um, I think he'll be good. Yeah, he's, just, he's made it through two practices now, which is good. So um, as long as he can make it again through another day, um, then you know he, he would be, if he's available, then he'll be a go. Definitely a trend this week more towards getting guys back as opposed to losing them. Is there a pressure to start?